What's up guys, Flo Shizzle here, your favorite Asher main, and this is an Asher main's guide to Haven. This has been probably one of my most requested guides as a lot of people seem to be struggling with Haven with its three bomb sites. It's a little bit weird on how you're supposed to play it, so hopefully this guide can help you. Also, thank you for your patience. I've been sick for the past week, so that's why it's been a little bit harder for me to push out these videos, but don't worry, I got you. As always, if you find any of my guides helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me more than you know. Now, onto the video. So let's start with the defensive side. Which site should you realistically be playing? And in my experience, C site is probably the easiest to play. You can get early info from jump spotting, which means you can pay a lot more attention to the other two thirds of the map, helping your teammates out more often, and then just occasionally jump spotting to defend your own site. What I mean by this is occasionally jump spotting long means that you can hide for a little bit. If you need to play stars, you can just drop them real quick. You can also just be more safe at just staring at minimap, which a lot of smoke players really need to do to really be effective. So in terms of star defaults, I'm going to preface that on this specific map, you're going to want to flex a lot more. With more sites, you don't want to lock your stars in too early into the round because that means you can't really change it up as fluidly throughout the round. And with three bomb sites, it's really easy for the attackers to move from one to the other, making your utility pretty much useless if they don't actually go there. So holding it until you actually need it or until there's some sort of sign given is usually a better option. As I'm usually soloing, I'll make sure I have these two stars right here. These are the normal ones that you hold for any choke point, one for the smoke, one for the pull. I usually throw it a little bit deeper rather than having it cut off at this Looking edge vicious. just so that when they come out they're still in this kind of lane rather than being able to push out behind the wall if the smoke had right cut there. off around here so this way when they peek out they're kind of just still stuck in this little choke point allowing for easier spray downs after that i almost always have a star a long and i'll put this pre-route and i only do this pre-route because of this stupid box right here and sometimes when you're trying to put it down a long you can actually hit this box right here and it essentially doesn't do what exactly what you want it to do so by putting it pre-round i can take the time to actually fly around this box in my astral form to actually drop it so that sort of stuff doesn't happen after those two stars are placed and that one back there then i'll put one for garage depending on the utility that is used there um sometimes if you have a cypher trip i don't find it as necessary as if i'm just playing for information sometimes if we're not actually holding garage there's no point in putting a star there this one's usually for garage but in general i usually flex the last two like i said if cypher has some sort of utility here or your killjoy has some sort of utility here or your chamber just pretty much any sort of info in garage I'll usually avoid putting anything in there and I'll actually commit to having a star in lobby. This largely depends on your A players because if they're peeking long or if they're like trying to actively like fight a little bit for long control or sewer control, then this is going to help slow down the push a lot because after the barrier drops, when you pull, they can't really get past it very easily. It's going to mess up with their rush timing and allow your teammates to get more aggressive if they really want to. A players can cross behind this right box. There. A lot of the times the right attacking there. team will cypher right cage there. this. And when they cypher cage this, I need a obscuring well, just vision. imagine it's a cypher cage. You can, they can actually push up along it, but it doesn't really work if you don't have that pull there because of the timing. It can be really awkward for it. Throwing a pole there off the rip is actually in a lot of cases really good. Also, a lot of the times on the defense, you want to get a little bit aggressive. So, a lot of times having a star mid instead of that pole lobby is good enough. This allows your teammates to push out B main and then take a fight with grass really safely. If you're expecting a C rush, this is usually has something to do with a little bit of reaction time because usually there's some sort of tell. Whether it's spotting someone C-Log, seeing a Sova drone come up, seeing a Sova dart, some sort of indication that they're just rushing it. You already have your two here, which is already good to stop it, but a nice one to drop is also in between the platform and the sight box. This one. So you're going to smoke I'm it. Straight. They're probably going to run through. A lot of the times the jets will dash through the default. The you mid. pull. They're going to dash through I'm and you're going to throw the smoke so that you can actually play behind this plat box really safely and you just hold the back of sight now there's a lot of reasons why this smoke in general is really good it gives you a lot more to play around you can actually just hold this angle right here and then anyone pushing through the smoke will be at the same crosshair level as where you're holding for logs if anyone's trying to wrap around so basically you can hold this line of sight and you can maintain half of c allowing your defenders or your teammates to flood in and help you this smoke also allows your ct players to really push out more safely because without the smoke you can get shot from this side of the box so this way, when they're running out and they know your back sight, they can easily just flood out law and just look at logs. And it makes it just in general a lot more easy for defenders to realize, hey, I can rush onto site and 
maintain this sort of pressure. Also denying the fact that attackers can't take the entirety of sight. So a lot of the times the attackers throw a smoke like this, right? But with, as long as your teammates know your back sight, then they know that the enemy can't be holding an angle like this. And so when your defending teammates are uh, coming out, they know they just have to look at this one angle. And it makes it a lot easier for them to flood in, especially if they're like multiple players. You're just gonna feel safe doing it. You also have to remember from the attacking side, it's really awkward if you don't have full sight control. We're just gonna look at it from the opposite way. Right? They don't really want to push through the smoke because right if they know your backside, this is going to be really, really awkward. Do they really want to rush this? This is like a really awkward place to really want to push because you have to focus on this and this. But if they don't take the other half of sight, the only realistic option that the attackers really have is to play post plant because there's nothing, no, no real place to hide. Like if they hide here, eventually they're going to get right swarmed there. from this side right and there. logs. So they can't really hide here. They can't really hide right here there. because they can get shot from right back there. plat. You see how like there's like there's really no good place to hide with this so then they're just gonna be forced to really fall back to long and that's all of the mentality off of you just staying alive with one smoke right here. The three stars is a lot to commit toward one of the sites but that's why you keep this on flex that way you can drop it the moment you see anything just remember you have to react quickly dropping the star first and then pulling your gun out later let's talk a little bit about how to retake these sites as well so for C site, it's normally pretty easy. We're gonna assume that you got pushed off of site or your teammates are needing you to retake. Maybe there's like some sort of fake that went on. You rotated to the A, they faked and went back to C. How should you be retaking C? Well, it's always gonna be the same. It's usually just gonna be a long smoke. That's usually the most important one. After that, everything's kind of like conditional depending on what happened. If you're coming, all coming out of spawn, you might wanna smoke out garage. But in the case that you actually do take garage control, then you probably don't wanna smoke out garage. You wanna let your teammates run up. Um, as for poles, you're probably just gonna wanna make sure you're focusing around default logs and then around this back site. So those are really the right most there. like dangerous angles, right these there. three. So something like throwing a pole here, concuss here, and then a smoke there. I need a concealed pulling, concussing him. This will just make it a lot easier because this angle isn't the hardest to fight from the defending point of view because you could just swing it. This angle is actually right the more annoying one. So if you throw right something there, there you can just focus on the left, but you can uh, vice versa. So you can throw like a pull here and then concuss there. So you Without pull pulling this, the man, and concuss. this allows you to freely like look just at this angle as you're swinging out and then you should be all set. And then with the smoke, you'll pretty much be good for retake. Obviously you have to be careful of any long players, but I think we are all kind of used to that at this point. As for the B site, normally if you're just taking through the A link and C link, you just want to smoke out the front of B main because there's not really a reason to smoking out window right if you don't have any garage presence or some sort of flame. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is that like normally you just smoke it and then you'll take all the site. All your teammates are here, so you just take B main. Um, and then the hard part is always going to be sticking the diffuse because usually they'll play right something there. like this and then they'll, they'll spam. Which is why I'm going to recommend the second thing, which is actually spending time to take garage control and try to retake more of mid rather than just taking B site. So in this case, if you have like an right A long there. flank and you're in garage, you're going to want to smoke out like something like this and maybe have a pull for here as you're retaking. This way, you're going to trust that your teammates have some right sort there. of ability to retake right B. And the reason why I'm saying you can trust them a little bit, B is the easiest site to retake. It has two multiple angles that the attackers are going to have to force to hold. And it's not a lot of cover that the attackers can use. If you look at like the front half of B site, it's really not that much. So in this case, smoking Blocking out this fish, like this will allow you to kind of retake right garage. If you clear this, right this, there. and this is smoke, then they can't really spam right this there. as well. And then if you have all of this control, then the only one real place. Oh, this is actually a bad smoke. Here. I need obscuring vision. And if you have all of this control, then the only real place you need to worry about is window right to there. spam the spike right from. There. But likewise, that's why right that's there. why you you're gonna wanna take some sort of flank or some sort of garage push to retake this area. Otherwise, it's gonna be really hard as attackers are just gonna be sitting out here waiting like this and have a crossfire like this. And then you're gonna find it near impossible right to stick any diffuse. As for the A site, it's just a normal two. It seems pretty self-explanatory, but I will give you a few niche situations that actually happen quite often. If you can find a timing where you're rotating onto site, right? So, so this actually happens quite often. You're rotating onto site, you're, the attackers are coming up sewer and coming up long, but you don't want to just give site for free, you know? Sometimes it's you need to, like, you're already down 4v5, for example. You can't just give site for free because it's already really hard to win on a retake. Now, if you think about it, if it's a 4v5 and they tap the site, you're probably going to lose. 
So you want to try to get in the best case scenario, you're trying to get a pick and then fall off or get two picks and then die, two picks and fall off or two picks and live. Um, either way, you want to even out the odds a little bit, right? So in the case, you're going to try to fight instead of dropping these smokes, you can actually drop like a smoke on top of the boxes. And this is because it gives one ways. So like here, you can just hold like something like this and then you'll have an easy way to like kill one or two and then you can fall off. Same as this, if you're like want to play back site, you can hold like something like this also do the same thing but if you're just take retaking with your teammates then yeah these two one and two are usually good enough just make sure you pull default stun graffiti good luck pulling and them in you should have a really easy time just want to make sure right your hell is the hardest part to clear you can drop a star for one of these but right i tend there. to prioritize these two because these two are usually the more annoying crossfires to deal with on the attacking side there are star defaults and the main goal is to deny information or stop aggression so in this case, we're gonna have to start with the C long one is just to drop a smoke top C. As I explained before, jump spotting is a really big part and integral part about defending C long. So just jump spot, see if you're all the way down there. But with this smoke here, obviously you can't see anything. This allows for you to move up into cubby if needed, walk into the smoke if needed, pop flash through, and then you guys can take the C site. The idea is that you're they're always going to be worried about where the hell you are and denying this is a lot of information the second one is for garage and this is something i'll do if i see that the enemy has some sort of pop flash so sky flash is a big example phoenix flash breach is a hit or miss um not something like a near sight because those generally aren't that good but you can for something like reina the idea is just to put one star here this really makes the defenders feel like they really don't want to swing it because if they don't insta kill you um you just pull and they're kind of screwed right so you just break the doors as they're like running for example you, you can like be jiggle peeking for this and then they come and pull it. and then you can just break the door right as they're trying to escape and if they have the fragile effect you'll probably kill them with just a couple bullets so doing that just really makes it more safe to push mid to take grass control without getting some random headshot the next star that you can do is to stall for short a so you throw a star right here this is actually pretty much the perfect timing for someone pushing the barrier right off the rip so they'll just like push and then by Pulling the time it come, starts they'll be on top of the star and this stops any real aggression coming from short a a lot of times you'll see jets like to do this piece where they'll just like hug with it off and then like clear all of this but with the star here that's pretty much impossible it allows your teammates to get past this choke point get here then they can silver drone sky dog whatever basically it throws off the timing that the jet wants to take they really right want to take the fight at this distance but with that pull they'll right probably slow down and they'll have to take the fight at like right here the next one is a star right here and that's just to stop any defenders from really trying to take the long orb operas like to post on this and this really just makes it really kind of annoying for any defenders to really get aggressive as for when you should be doing this this long c one i would probably do pretty often most times it also allows you to get the c or pretty easily but the other the garage one i'll just put and pull back if it's not needed eventually like if, I, if no one's pushing it then i'll just pull it back for the short a one i'll probably do this pretty often especially if i feel like we're like trying to fight for short a for example killjoy has an ult and we want to take sewer so we can plant that ult in that corner that everyone plants killjoy all in right there right so then i'm gonna spend a little more utility actually trying to fight for short a so i'll put the star here and then that way when they're coming uh they might just leave and if they leave then we have this for free we don't risk a pick stuff like that um if we're trying to take focus more on long a then maybe i'll you know put the star long a you know it depends on what what the team is doing and maybe also what the enemy team is doing if it's been a constant short a push then i'm gonna probably do that more often than the other one it's been a constant long a push i'll probably do that one more than the other now let's talk about some site executes for all the sites starting from c normal two smokes spawn and garage and then the next ones you're really gonna want to be worried about is probably the close right and then the logs area so i'll like a lot of the times to put, actually put one for logs and then one for close right so I'll usually smoke, Concealment. smoke, Concealment. and then for this one I'll pull Boy, it and then cut. The reason why I'm not leaving this side, uh, well, the reason I'm leaving this side open is that your teammates can find this pretty easily, because all your teammates are going to be invisible visibility of this, right? Well, the only people visible to logs right is actually the first person coming out. So it sucks when this first person dies to the right logs there. player and no one's actually able to trade because they just fall back so when you, but this like if anyone swings this you have majority if not the entire team 
able to look at this even if you're all the way down that seat right but from this angle logs you only only the person right up this far will be able to see and no right one else so that's why i prioritize clearing this and this over the back because everyone else can actually just be watching it if you know where one of the defenders are for example plat then you're probably just gonna assume there's gonna be one other player and it's probably gonna be to the right side of sight because you want to think that they're probably rotating in so if they're rotating in then it's gonna be on this side right there. on this side so in that case, you can like for, use a concuss, you have the smokes, and then you're going to want to actually look right as long as if they're on the left side, like find plat. And then that way you can actually look for the other fight while iso and while your teammates that are running up can look to the door. So these are kind of like small things that you're going to want to like notice and how you scale properly. On the B site, you're going to want to smoke off the links. Um, I will say be very careful of this little dingy barrel because a lot of the times you'll see that if you're trying to place the star from like somewhere like B main, a lot of times it'll just like yeah you see how like a latched on to the top of this that's because it doesn't really show this in actual form but it does exist and when you're trying to place it here a lot of times it just pops on them so just be a little bit more careful of that one maybe you actually want to go like when you're placing down the stars you don't want to go for this one you go for that one and then this one um and then that way you can smoke both. and then after that vision. you're normally right going to want to plant on this side now the reason you don't want to plant on this right side there. is you're going to get spammed from a main but on this side you can't it's just a difference in the angling of the doors. So a lot of the times you'll play like a post plant B rush, and then you'll oh there we go. Taking that back. And then you'll like try to plant the spike here, right? So then you'll smoke, the smoke. You just want to stop your any of the defenders from rushing in and actually killing your planner. So your jet is planning on just running in, planning and then dashing out. So in that case, I'll put a second star, a third star, I guess. After the two smokes on this side, so when he runs in, it'll be smoked, and then you can just pull this in. off the, uh, like a little bit into the plant, and that makes sure that none of the defenders can really rush to push him off the plant, and then he can dash out safely. As for the A execute, it's going to be normally the spawn one, the heaven one. I normally don't like the star that just cuts off this little choke, Consume and the reason it. is defenders can push through and like hold an angle like this, and as you're hitting sight. The issue is that if you, when you're running out, you're Consume still, fo you can still get shot from here, and the defenders are able to isolate one angle that they have to worry about. So, like for example, here they can, they'll just, uh, they can just tuck in this corner, they'll get shot, get shot, get shot, right? They only have to worry about this. Compared to like if you smoke Obscuring something like this, vision. the defenders are running out and they, tr they have to fight both right left there. and right and like right the there. swing of the default box from long. So then therefore this becomes a lot more risky. And if they're gonna push through the smoke, then they're gonna, you know, they can't isolate any angles. They have to deal with all the angles at once. So after the two smokes, you're gonna wanna focus on probably pulling back sight. This will just makes it much harder for anyone to kind of play around this, just cause there's no area to really work with. Just careful, they can tuck into the back of hell and push this off angle and like peek, peek like this. But besides that, this is definitely gonna make it easier. A lot of times jets will just dash the sight and you just have to hold something like this. Probably get the kill. Blocking fish concealment. Pulling Pull, and then you can stun this. It's either that or this corner. It just makes it you have to clear one of the angles and it's a 50-50. This one sometimes might be a little bit harder because right a lot of the defenders like to swing this side. But it really depends on how coordinated your team is. The long A push should be at the same time as short A push. So they can actually clear one of them by themselves. What I like to do when I come up short though is if I have extra stars, so we're gonna imagine we go one, two, right, and then a pull for default. And then we're gonna put like one star, right? So we can do like, uh, we'll clear this corner. I'll actually have a star like right here. And it's gonna sound a little awkward. Concealment, so you smoke, smoke, pull, pull in the mid. Cuss, and then right, you Need pull this one back, and then you can actually clear this real quick as you're running through the smoke, and then look toward the other part of the site. This is because a lot of the times people are just camping in this corner, right? And they're not gonna expect you to push through your own smoke. This allows you to kind of take that one on one with this guy um pretty fairly so sometimes if i have two stars and i've actually done this before i'll show you a clip right now if i want to clear this corner i'll Did actually pull back this star Did pull back this star and then i can fight this guy alone while i'm in the smoke and then be able to swing the rest of sight he's late he's late i let him up i let him up that's a lit shot guys one more one more silva oh, oh shit. Backside, backside. 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 
Watch your flank. Okay, now we're gonna talk about some Astral Walls. So they're pretty self-explanatory on A site. It's just this one that covers off both Heaven and well CP. I would just make sure you have a pull for My this. Ready. That way, if anyone is trying to fight for it, you can always just pull this. A lot of times, people like to pop flash through, so the pull Boy, behind it. it will actually make them unable to capitalize off their own flash. That's just a good idea. It's good in case of security. Just make sure help. You have to clear help. And we're going to talk about a wall that I actually saw Fnatic use. It's a really cool one. Basically, you're looking to wall off half of C as well. So it's going to do something like that. Well divided. And it essentially allows you My to plant like red, this right if there. it was normal, right? That jet fake thing, uh, the jet, the fast B plant with the jet dash out is usually done with this. Then you just want to make sure you clear right like this. Um, Fnatic use uh, right Sova Drone. This is pretty easy to do. As long as you have like some sort of level communication. If you're a duo Astro, so it's probably this pretty much can work. Throw up this wall, you clear this. Once you've cleared that, that means you know no one knows that you're not actually going B. And Don't then you ready. have people coming out C long, they can just be walking up. This covers most of the backside. This makes it relatively safe to walk up. You just clear all the close angles. Chances are they probably rotated off anyway, and then you can plant wherever you want. Plant here, plant right there. there. You can even smoke 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 and then try to retake Without the back of sight if you really want vision. to i would just recommend planting the long maybe like probably around here in this box this one's the most default one it's just falling off garage you can do it something like this but sometimes it feels a little bit better to do this like i said with the a short angle like if you wall off just up to here they can push up and they can just hold it right there and they get right uh, there. like a little anchor onto site because as long as they someone's like holding this then your teammates are there the defender teammates are going to be feel comfortable to run out so sometimes that's why you'll see that it's like walled off more awkwardly but in general you're just kind of looking to like do something like this well divided as long as you have you can ready. combo with the star if you're really worried about Let's it you can pull them in. until you get here and then you can actually post on it you know, you get close to the wall and you can just hold it this one's a little awkward but you can actually throw a wall like from like here to this corner well divided. and this My actually ready. does a lot of good things mostly allowing you to plant in this right corner there. really safely you just plant the spike and then you can run back and play long and this is pretty much just the plant it's really awkward for any defenders to decide what they really want to do because this is like not a good wall to really swing through because of the long angle like if you swing you're probably gonna have to look right and left so Getting right that, there. you can get the plant pretty easily. And that's just for post point. So now let's go into the attack play style and how you should be thinking throughout the entire round. General gist is that you're mostly trying to get as much map control as possible as Astra. That's why these stars that pull allow you to take map control more easily, whether right it be there. through long and through short A. You can kind of right already there. see how you would take these spaces with the stars I aforementioned. So like, let's say this one, right? Without you, pulling them if you in. throw this one, um, you probably jet right smokes there. this or cypher cages that and then you crush short a and then you can kind of like work this with your teammates right just make sure that you're not going to get off and then as you're pushing up okay now you have this angle and now you're good like you don't have to do much more than that you're probably going to force out some smokes and then you can fall back and likewise is the same thing at a once you get like this position you're going to realize that the a players are going to feel a little bit claustrophobic because right they don't there. have the, their their only influence they have is over the actual site this is gonna pull rotates, and that's really a good thing because you wanna pull rotates or move shift things around because if they play too default, you're gonna just gonna find it that the moment you, you rush, the rotates are too quick. So if you shift the rotates toward one side, you can now hit C or B more easily because there's less players there. Next is to take some sort of grass slash mid control. So this star is gonna help with that. Just careful of right the mid there. push. A lot of times this can just be countered by an easy rain of flash that comes out of a window. Just because you can't really push mid if there's a rain of flash, you're just gonna die, right? So someone's gonna be forced to break it or something. Like at the very least, you know, right? So that way you can kind of swing grass pretty easily. And then with this, make sure no garage presence. And then you can take mid. You can slowly walk up, try to take any of these gunfights, take the fights here, or hug the other side and take the fights here, right? But then after you get in this, then you've also now see that you've now limited even more control that the defenders have. Now they only have the B site. The next is Garage. So this one's a little bit harder to take. You're gonna need a little more utility from your side. Um, and you're probably gonna want another teammate to help clear, but you're going to want to just have a smoke for a window And then you realistically only need to worry about this left side So the reason why I'm saying this is this side can be checked pretty easily You can spam this to check if there's anyone behind this box and The only other real place Consume after this is smoked is right this, there. but this isn't the best angle for de uh, Defenders you really want to hold because you actually get a solid like you can actually take a fight 
pretty solid with this. So with this, you can Nothing even just done. concuss the corner so that it, it fades faster. What I mean by that is if you throw a, like a pull here, right? I know that I've said that pull is the better ability, but I in certain cases, like, pull stall is for too long. Like, you want to be able to take this quickly, right? So if you the pull is going on for too long, you're actually at, like, a weird situation where you don't really want to run into your own pull. So you'd rather just, like, throw a star here and then concuss it so that it ha happens fast and then you can shoot right off of it. I'm After you clear garage, vision. let's take a look at what the defenders have. Oh, shoot, they, barely, they, they could have right a little there. bit of window control. But in general, they don't have garage. And then if you look at all that space, right if you did all three of these, look at how much space you take. You take all of garage, take all of mid courtyard, sewer, and then a long. And now, like if you look at the defenders' like influence, they only have the sites, right? So they're gonna feel pressed to rotate early to everywhere. And then we're also gonna talk about cubby control, long. I'm um, just gonna wanna take long. This one's pretty easy, especially at the top C smoke. I Go will say just still be careful about the jet stay. that likes to updraft here. So if they have an off, be very wary of that. But besides that, you can always, once you cross there, and then you're going to look, wow, their influence that the defenders have is very low. Now we pull rotates. If you do the A thing of pulled rotates or A, then you can set up for a C. Pulled, you did C things and garage things, then you can pull toward A. You pull toward any of them, you have a pretty solid chance at B. You see how like the, the entire like attack half just gets easier once you've taken control. I recommend playing slow. Playing fast is fine, but it really depends on how good the players are. If the players are stopping your rushes or if you guys are just trading out very evenly, maybe start th thinking of throwing some fakes. It'll make your games a lot easier. Let's talk about defensive play styles. As I said, jump spotting is very key to defending C. And the real way to do it is you're going to want to like jump out to the right and then pull back to the left right so it's really w d and then you're gonna press s and then tap a you see that like jumping out and then immediately like falling back and it just makes it really hard for them to really see you they see like a little shoulder pop up and that's it about it if you want me to teach you comment down below and let me know but after jump spotting you really want to be working the map because like i said from what I described on the attack side, playing default becomes really hard because it's quite easy for the attacking side to just pull rotates just based on the amount of space. So you're going to really want to double up with a teammate if possible and hold some resemblance of area and it's going to feel like you're playing retake a lot on this map and that's probably because you are. Playing retake is actually fine, but you have to make sure that you're maintaining some sort of area. You can't just be playing retake and then not holding something, right? If you're playing retake C, then make sure you hold garage. If you're playing retake B, then make sure you take garage and then so that you can flank mid, like I explained before. If you're playing retake A, then maybe you're going to want to be able to have some sort of flank going on. Uh, if you're losing players on sites, I recommend pushing something, trying to take some sort of space back because you're down a man and uh, it's already attack sided and you're going to split really hard. So a lot of the times C sometimes just isn't watched. A lot of times it's just like a lot up to utility, whether right it be a there. trip, arm right bot, there. chamber, slow, something like that, right? So in the case that that is, you, it's sometimes worth to just kind of test how far they're willing to go. So a lot of times I'll like throw a star down here if I'm planning on being aggressive. That way I can like, if I, I hear something, like if I'm walking down, I hear something, I can pull it. it back and then that way I can turn around and run without getting shot while the smoke is up. So this is like a really like, gambly thing walk down if, oh i hear something you can even like do something like this if you want to get really aggressive and that way you can even timing it and to get into the cubby be aggressive as the defenders it sounds counterintuitive but from listening to the previous attacking play style you're going to realize that you have to maintain something so usually double up with the teammate fight for something a lot of the times that's the a site because it allows you to take these like long angles here and then fall back easily. Short A is also the same thing. You can take the headshot angle and then fall back easily. So that's why you want to support them with some sort of utility. Next is on the defense, look for dart. Darts ruin every site hold because it makes it super easy for the attackers to realize what they should be doing. So breaking a dart makes it a lot harder. Um, so a lot of the times the god dart is like right one right there. here. Sometimes right it's like there. on this back wall. So then you're just going to make sure that you pop it before it scans one. As for the defensive star management, you're really going to want to shift stars away from C if they haven't shown up C long because a lot of times it doesn't really help. So the second one, I'll actually be the first to be like, okay, I can pull this back. It. The reason why is because you can jump spot really easily, so easily on, compared to every other site. 
and therefore you can always call for a really early rotate so there you're gonna really want to just like oh if my other side needs help then i can always drop stars for there as you're playing on the attacking side you're going to want to hold for this dart this is the retake dart and this is how you are going to want to stop the retake if you're playing default this is probably the safest angle to break it from this a smoke needs to be smoked as soon as possible and likewise you're probably going to want something like this as well the reason i'm saying this is because it gives your teammates more like angles to fight from so for example you smoke this they know it's smoked now the defenders feel like now your teammates on a feel like more comfortable to fight like this because they have a smoke here and likewise if you do it the opposite way right you can they can also like are feel more comfortable playing like an angle like this and like here because the smoke allows them to and the last thing that i want to reiterate is flex as much as possible in your stars you don't want to lock up one two no three and then you did that th the three star setup c and then all of a sudden they hit b and then you're waiting on Need each star butt. to come Taking back before you can actually do anything right? recovering it Need that c has a lot of ways to get information so therefore it's okay compared to other sites where it's like it's just two right splitting five stars between two is fine splitting five stars between three sites and then not to mention all the connectors garage short a it's like it's way too hard so you're really going to need to be more star management focused and reactive to what the enemy is doing base it off of the utility they're using what your teammates see what the enemy team has done in the past and you should find your games get significantly easier well that's it for the haven guide and actually that's it for most of astra the remaining maps breeze icebox and fracture i actually personally recommend you play viper and if you've loved my astra guide so far you're probably also going to like my viper guides that are coming soon i play viper almost exclusively on those three maps because I feel like they are the better agent. If you're interested in those Vipers guides and becoming a full-fledged controller main, comment down below and let me know which map I should start on. As always, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. I stream on Twitch three days a week. Now Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. EST. All my links are in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.